Alright, hi guys, CJ Stone here for the work and I bring you to it as of Magic and Gaming. We are back in Nox Ramus Construct Quarter. I still do not have any money, so I'm gonna go ahead and just buy the additional two wings. Hope I don't screw up my uh, password. Alright, there we go. So, <sighs> construct quarter. Here we go. Now, I'm cheating a little bit. I do know what I'm going up against, so we're gonna go ahead and make a card deck specifically for it. I know it's a little bit cheaty, but then again, we did the same thing with our uh, our old friend. Actually. This is my deck, by the way. I have an awesome deck. Um, with Baron Rivendare, the Void Collar, uh, the Abomination, um, Booty Bay Guardians, Loatheb, Sludge Belchers, um, but yeah. Probably gonna change it a little bit, but I've kind of built up a really death, death filled deck. Uh, that's not what we're looking for. What are we looking for? Shut up. Oh, this is cruel. This is kind of cruel. Um, let me go use that. And the Reckless Rocketeer is our big boys. Okay. None of this is going to make sense to you if you haven't seen anyone else play Naxxramas yet. Patchwork is sewn together from adventurers who couldn't defeat Lawwalker Cho. Now, his thing, um, Hateful Strike, his hero power is he destroys a minion. It's, uh, it's, it's a cheaper assassinate, but it can be used every turn. Um, and the Undertaker, whenever you summon a minion, we're gonna get the Undertaker, which is going to be the biggest addition to my Death Rattle deck. So we're going to use my Warrior deck. As you can see, I very rarely use a Warrior deck. I'm not... I don't know. No. Rut row raggy. Three frames per second. Here we come. Oh, there we go. Let's pick him back up. There we go. 31. So. <laughs> Patchwork want to play. Victory or oh, death. Um. Yeah, okay. It's not that bad. So there's a couple things you're probably going to notice. One, he has a weapon, right off the bat. Um, two, we have the coin. Uh, this is one of the first times we've had in a very long time. Three, he has a weapon that's five, and his death rattles, he puts it back into his hand. He also 
doesn't have any cards. He doesn't draw cards, though, which is, uh, we're gonna be taking advantage of that in a little bit. Alright. So, yeah, as you can kind of tell, uh, he's gonna be pretty much owning us very quickly. So, we're gonna try to basically aggro. It is basically full-out aggro. Who can kill each other first? Uh, and we kind of need it to be us. Yes! And this is good because next turn he will have the mana to do this, but he has to hook. Has to hook. we are going pretty low though so this isn't exactly ideal we can destroy his weapon again we can equip one of our own and go in for the face as well as start taking his health down just a little bit more we do have lethal next turn I think maybe do not know just yet we'll have to check I'll give it a shot Okay. Yeah, we do. Okay. Poof. 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 Hardcore. Okay. Um, I saw. I think it was Rhythian. Um. He did it with a mage deck, I ran it with a warrior deck, I saw this and I thought it'd be really awesome to tank it, hardcore tanking with a warrior deck, and uh, it did, as you can see, we didn't even get up to 5 mana. Uh, that was actually, that was 5 mana, that was the final thing. So we have the Undertaker, uh, and I got, I, I finally hit level 6. Let's, let's not look at that too much. But yeah, got that. Um, next up... This is my prototype for an army of giants. You are test, test subject, subject one. one. All right, so deal one damage to all minions. Now, I uh, <laughs> I happen to have a uh, entire deck for those who do not fear death. Let's get rid of a few extras of these. And let us put in my personal favorite new guy, The Undertaker! So much OP. Especially with the Void Walk. Well, not with the Void Walker, but you can kind of use the Void Walker to hold him off. You can throw out the Nerubian Eggs, Unstable Ghouls. You can even use an Unstable Ghoul on top of it. It's Jeff's. Oh my gosh, it's such a good card. I'm actually going to get rid of the Stone Skin Gargoyle as well. I've realized um, I'd rather have a couple more demons in. Um, the good thing about the Void Collar, there is, is demons. You can get a lot more demons out on the board without having the problems associated with said demons. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep low up. I know how this guy plays out a little bit. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the Abomination, though. And throw out our uh, Golden Dread Infernal. Because that is a great card, but it is a bit of annoying to throw out. And um, I'm also going to drop a Void Collar and throw in a Succubus. So, uh, yeah. Let's go up against him. I'm just, I'm happy to be able to play this. I've, I've not had a chance to play with this deck yet. Um, I knew it used to be a zoo, and I know a lot of people, well, I don't know if you guys really didn't like zoo. Um, zoo's a win. It's one of those things, like, event, they did kind of get around to the point where it was like, oh yeah, zoo's not going to work anymore, but for the most part, zoo is a kind of instant win kind of thing, so... So, we are going to turn one Undertaker. Icky! So that is whenever you summon one. 
go ahead and unstable ghoul. Since he has to trade, we're just gonna go ahead and go for his face. What are we gonna see? Yeah. I was actually expecting this, so. Most would think, how could you possibly expect this? And well, the answer is. I just know these things happen. So. Our Undertaker, look at that, look at him already being buffed up, and boom, boom, there guy, I don't need him, what is he good for? Free card, uh, so here's his slimes, they're not, they're alright, but they're not as impressive as you'd expect, I guess, um, he does not know how to combo correctly as well, which is really good for us. Because I think if he learned how to combo, I'd be really screwed. Uh, we don't really have any minions with Death Rattle. I'm going to go ahead and lower Theb. Uh, I haven't even—I haven't actually been able to see that just yet. Alright, so we are probably... We are going to see him go for my face. Okay, hello noob. How are you doing today? Awesome. Bring out your dead. I know it's a bit inefficient, but we did need to do that. And we get two cards with death rattle. Icky. I love the leper now. I was kind of—I felt like I could have—I should have put him in this deck, but I just did. And now we see why I love this. This card. This card! So, not the worst thing in the world, but very annoying. We do have a couple of really good cards coming our way. Some of my favorites. Um, we're going to go ahead and start. As I call it, needlessly sacrificing my minions. That's annoying. I don't think he has enough momentum, though, really. Yeah, he doesn't have enough momentum. He does have enough momentum. Crap. Okay. Um, I'm going to try it again, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Uh, uh, that was a bit of a screw-up. I know that you can do like a really good deck to uh, take him out, and I think we even have the good cards for it, but... Uh, Your soul shall be mine. We're gonna go ahead and drop both of those. We're gonna keep the Undertaker. If we can get any more cards for it, maybe. Love that Dread Infernal. All right, we have a Ruby and Egg at least. He's not going to go the exact same play. Thank God for that. I kind of like, he's kind of like a questing adventurer, but more, I guess, like, specific. <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it. Ah, there we go. So that's someone, uh, we can kind of get rid of a bit later on. We didn't even get Baron Rivendare last time around, though, to be fair. 
Icky. Always do that. I don't know why. Probably because I'm, I'm crazy. Here we go. So, see, we have the Void Caller. Um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do that one out. So, this is going to let us bring out things like the Succubus. I should have killed that. And he learns how to combo. He occasionally does this. Might have to build a priest deck. Could get annoying really quick. Dread Infernal. As you can see, we don't have his, um... Let's, let's just soul fire. I don't really care what we get rid of. The other soul fire. There you go. Um... So yeah, we got the Dread Infernal lot without having to have his battle cry, which is really good. Um, it's kind of, you know, it's a good thing. Good thing to be able to do. Uh, we can... Uh, hold on. There we go. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and do that, I guess. Uh, so that'll make this one cost a bunch more, but it makes his cost a lot more as well. I'll go ahead and in turn. Join or die. Or both. I'm not going to attack your Nerubian, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to suddenly say, hey, you know, it'd be really fun. Let's go kill this guy's Nerubian. turn. Oh, we didn't spend any mana, but I don't really have anything for it. Noob! I would have I would have used the Nerbian Egg on that. I would have. I so would have. Uh, let's go ahead and pop out Loatheb and that as well. Um, Echoing Ooze. Ooh, I feel like we dodged a bullet on this one. Uh, combo, he is well known for and uh, hated for as well. Is uh, he will very often. Um, what is it? Uh, do the echoing news, and then he'll throw down one of those massive taunt boost thingies. Whatever it is, I cannot remember it at the moment. Um, Thing is, when he does that, it does give him. Um, I should have killed myself. Here we go. Are we gonna see it? Okay. Uh, the echoing news will keep. It'll. It kind of retains whatever upgrades are given to it. So what you want to do with an echoing news is you want to immediately throw on any buffs that you have right onto it. Um, and it looks. Uh, it's pretty epic. Awesome. Go and get rid of sacrificial pack. Okay. Uh, so what we kind of want to do right now is we want to get these Nerubian eggs killed. I don't know how we're gonna do that, but I'm gonna have to find out a way. Ah, oh, we do have this guy though. Though he's pretty cool. Um, so now we're just gonna kind of push him down. Minion plus four, four, and taunt. Well, lordy, lordy. Can't kill all of them. There we go. Just do a few more. Do a few more. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go. You're gonna go for my face? Okay. Okay, you can go for my face. Uh, by the way, <laughs> I have strategies that you could never foresee. Built this deck way too, way too swole. <laughs> I 
I have more. Oh. It's enough damage. It's enough damage. Oh, it's not enough damage. It is almost enough damage. There's no way... Can't do it though, can he? Can he? He can't. He can't! <gasps> oh. That was really close, actually. That was, in fact, really close. We are slow rolling again. Boom! Oh, that, I knew it would work. I knew that deck would work. It's such a good deck. I love that. Uh, so we get the Mad Scientist. Um, I've kind of been thinking of... Um, well, I like the Warlock deck. I don't really have the place for a lot of demons. Um, I feel like Duplicate. Um, duplicate. In a, uh, especially with the Mad Scientist as well. In a another one of those kind of focused decks would be really good. I feel like you could do a really fun kind of time with that. Especially if you could get some Nerubian eggs off and just keep slamming down lots and lots of Nerubian eggs. Uh, I feel like that'd be... You, you could have some, a lot of fun with that. Uh, I'm going to stop it for today because we've already taken out half of it. Uh, we'll take we'll be back uh, next time to take out the rest of Noxodoramus. Next up Gluth is Gluth. Zombies. Come to think of it. You would make a pretty good leftover zombie. Yeah. So, I will, uh, I've been DJ Sword here for the Ready to Dose Magic Game, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.